You cannot make peace with someone who is constantly saying, I'm going to kill you and your family. Hamas uses the Palestinian and now Israelis as human shields. There are many Arabs, Palestinians, and I want to say to you, all you've got to do is go back and look it for yourself. Stop listening to the news, tell you fake news, lies, misinformation, disinformation. Go look it up for yourself. There has never been Palestinian peoples. They are Arabs who have been kicked out and used as the cheapest pawns on earth as people have slaughtered them and done everything they could to discredit and to be able to undermine and use them as pawns in a war, namely Iran. Many Arabs want peace, but Hamas and Hezbollah and Iran want no peace. Like a monster who needs to drink blood until it's thirsty again, Hamas and other terrorists that have threatened and are killing Israelis today, ladies and gentlemen, have no stopping point. They will intend and have said it with their mouth to wipe Israel off the map. This is prophetic because of Psalm chapter number two that says that they will counsel together as kings and their counsel will conclude we're going to drive them out. We're going to wipe Israel off of the map. So what happened? On October the 7th, Hamas broke through the borders of Gaza into Israel and began to kill immediately. Taking out the IDF soldiers that were on the border and then intentionally, hear me now, they found the battle plan that was left inside of one of the vehicles, intentionally targeting towns, not just towns, but elementary schools. And not just elementary schools, but targeting children and being able to take hold of the girls and the women. This music festival found people running as the paragliders were shooting at them as they came over the border, over the border, pretending to protect until they got in their cars and that long line of cars became nothing more than a duck shoot for terrorists. Why do I speak of crossing of the border? Because we have since the beginning of the year, at least those that are on the border of the United States and Mexico have captured, ladies and gentlemen, over 150 known terrorists crossing into the United States just this year. That has doubled since last year. I want to say, some people want to say, well, Pastor, what does this have to do with us? I mean, leave us alone. Let us watch our MLB and our NFL and our college football and let us go on about life. We don't want to hear about that. That's their problem. I want to tell you it makes it your problem because there are Hamas and Hezbollah sleeper cells that are in the United States right now having crossed the southern border. And I say to the government of the United States, get your act together, close the border, build the wall, protect like the declaration says for you to protect the citizens of America. Why is this important? Because there is a coming election next year if we're able to have one. The uproar of the United States government right now has people wondering will there be the chatter that is being said by some is that the election year of next year in 2024 will see attacks coming from these rogue and terrorist organizations. So what's the current situation? Israel is fighting a three-front war right now. The Northeast is having mortar shells that have been fired across the border from Syria. And Russia is there in Syria as the strongest presence that they have in that particular location. The second front is in Lebanon to the north. Hezbollah, that is backed by Iran, uh, they are there to attack Israel uh, from the northern border. And this is uh, the, the, the more, Hezbollah is, is more uh, technologically advanced and Iran has more investment in the technology and the training of Hezbollah even than Hamas. I want you to know as I stood on that border just a few years ago and looked across that border at houses that had no windows and a handful of Israelis that were there in that kibbutz to try to protect the northern flank of Israel and 150 Katusha rockets were inside of those windows, all of them pointed at Israel. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is not something that's just happening and that's going to go away. This is something that's going to be in your face now for several weeks and months. The third primary front is now in Gaza in the south. There were the attacks against Israel. That were, that's where it was originated. Of course, led and directed by Iran. And that's where Hamas's stronghold is at. Hamas, I remind you, is the term in Arabic, in your Old Testament, in Hebrew, meaning violence. Violence filled the land during Noah's day. Hamas filled the land during Noah's day. So the orders came from Iran. And some of you say, well, I don't see the connection between Iran and Hezbollah and Iran and Hamas. Well, let me give you this little bit of information that you will not hear on your national news. The orders came from Iran because just a few days before the attack began, a billboard went up in Iran's capital city of Tehran, and the billboard said, the liberation operation storming of Alaska has started. That's exactly what they call this operation from Hamas. Not only that, but after the attack, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard posted on what was Twitter, now called X, we told you we would come for you. They're fulfilling their promise to wipe Israel off the map. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has created a special emergency wartime government. In recent months, you have watched as elections and debates have come to try to get together a government that would support one uh, individual, and there have been factions that have tried uh, to assert the power or get to the location of the prime minister. Currently, I thank God that Benjamin Netanyahu is at the helm of all that's going on. But take a lesson, United States, because Mr. Netanyahu turned around to all the others that are seeking that particular position of leadership and said, today, we are all Israelis. We're going to bring everybody in and form an emergency wartime government where no one is left out, everybody's in the council, and we're going to work together to see this evil defeated. That, my dear friends, is leadership in operation as you see it right now. Yeah.